Dean, our first confirmed re-signing for the 2022-23 campaign, although the most recent season has only just ended, how excited are you uh, for the new campaign? No, yeah, really excited. I think um, it'd be good going forward. We had a great season this year and building on what we've sort of put into place this year and pushing forward. And then personally, no, it's always good to re-sign here. It was my first year back from France and uh, really enjoyed it. The place doesn't change. So no, always really happy to re-sign. Yeah, you came back from France, 20 tries, the second time you've done that in your Blues career. I mean, I guess it was almost a perfect campaign in that way. Yeah, no, it's always good to score and stuff, but I think as a team, we need to build on build on last season. I think that's the biggest key. I think going forward, there was places in our last season was like a roller coaster. We were up and down. We couldn't get a win here post 2022, all of that kind of thing. So it's about putting consistency together and then going forward. Yeah, there's some real good positives to take actually into this campaign. Fifth in the league and really strong in the cup as well. I guess you just want to keep building. It's now about building those steps. Yeah, I think so. I think it's about putting into place what what we sort of put in and then taking it further really and getting a bit more consistent what I just said I think we lost a couple of games narrowly I mean last one here was pretty narrow and they're the type of win we need to turn into wins and then hopefully next season we can hopefully push into the top four and I'm sure that's what everyone else wants and the fans want as well and for you I was winding you up about it all season you did get into the 100 try club joint 10th at the moment is that something that you'll be looking looking at the new campaign try and break into the top five uh yeah i mean to say to i'll be saying a line if i wasn't but uh no yeah it's always good to score and i enjoy scoring here and i enjoy scoring for this club so no it's great and yeah let them if I, i'm scoring then hopefully the team's doing well so that's the main thing I've obviously re-signed you for next season was there any other choice in your mind really no not at all <laughs> i was always going to stay it was just it was just yeah this is the one club for me and I've really enjoyed it and that's that's the best thing, really. Everyone always talks about the Blues family. What is it for you specifically that keeps drawing you back to Goldenton Road? I think it's three o'clock on a Saturday. You just There's no better place to be. You, the energy you get from the fans and being here at Goldenton Road and it, you've got two and a half thousand people shouting your name, get, cheering us all on, really, and that's that's the biggest thing for me. And, and then the exciting brand of rugby play, which is instilled by Mike. There's We play a extremely good brand of rugby if, I'm, if any winger comes to Bedford and doesn't really score you'll be wor wondering why but it's honestly it's, it's a great brand of rugby and the best of all is we're all good mates teammates everyone everyone's a real good mate here yeah and we've got that end of season uh, dinner on Wednesday that kind of encapsulates um, last season what were your standout memories from that 21-22 campaign uh, personally for me was probably the 100th try obviously as we've so spoke about but I think the biggest one was Boxing Day here I think the the game was just really really good we we struggled in the week and I think Mike spoke about that before I mean training we didn't have the right numbers and all of this kind of stuff but when it came to match day the crowd were behind us and it was it was just unbelievable we got another win at, at home to Jersey on Boxing Day and I think that was the biggest moment of the season. Does that show how special this club is that when things don't go right we pull it together and we get the result at the end of it? Yeah I think we talk about coming up in a bit of adversity and stuff but I think it's just it's it's really the fans that's having that sort of four and a half thousand on a Boxing Day game they get right behind you they won't they won't die till the 80th minute they'll keep singing they'll keep chanting and, and I think that's the biggest thing for us. You're quite clearly a fan favourite here would be fair Fair, fair to say, if you speak about those fans, how important are they for how much you enjoy being here at Golden Dome Road? They're the heart and soul of the club, really. I mean, this is what this club's built on, having them sort of behind us and and the, them guys go home and you've got loads come away as well. I mean, we had a trip to Cornwall five days later and there were still fans there. So it's pretty impressive that they sort of follow us up and down the country and they are, they are what this club is all about. And I think as long as we keep playing our brand of rugby that we want to play, they will always turn up and try and cheer us on, no matter whether we get. We might have a couple of results that don't go away, but they'll always be behind us, and that's the that's the main thing. Yeah, they'll be a massive part again next season. What's your what's your final message uh, going into the 2022-23 campaign? They're the heart and soul of the club, really. I mean, this is what this club's built on, having them sort of behind us and. And the, them guys go home and you've got loads come away as well. I mean, we had a trip to Cornwall five days later and there were still fans there. So it's pretty impressive that they sort of follow us up and down the country and they are, they are what this club's all about. And I think as long as we keep playing our brand of rugby that we want to play, 
they will always turn up and try and cheer us on no matter whether we get we might have a couple of results that don't go away but they'll always be behind us and that's the that's the main thing just keep keep with us and uh we'll uh we'll be striving in pre-season to get fitter and stronger and stuff and we'll gel as a unit a lot more and and we'll uh we'll be out next season where we're wanting to get on a few of those results that they narrowly lost to turn them to a win and then hopefully break into that top four well Dean we wish you all the best in the 2022-23 campaign and we look forward to seeing you back on the field see you after the summer yeah